How's it going guys? Mr. Game of Fame here and today we have the 8th episode of the Miami Dolphins franchise here in Madden 17. So before we get into anything, any of the games, nothing, nothing with the gameplay, I got a comment from Pikua Thunderbolt. Sorry if I mispronounced your name, but he told me to trade for Derrick Henry. It's a very interesting, I understand after the injury of Arian Foster, we kind of been struggling a little bit with J.O.J.I. And also with Aaron Foster's injury, he, you know how injury prone he is. You see, he's out for another two two weeks for the shoulder tear, and then he'll be back. You know, he we, we haven't been running the ball as well. And you see their injury report; they they're losing the two of their key halfbacks, uh, McCoy and Williams. Um, I can understand from Derrick Henry because you know he is a young, talented running back, but I don't think. I need him. I don't need him right now because uh, I can wait another two weeks, and we can get Foster back, and he could possibly he could possibly do a still do a good job. So I'll, I'll wait until the off season and see if I want to trade for him. And also we have the draft, so and I also don't really want to trade any young assets or draft picks or anything. I'm trying to get some more draft picks. So. Um, uh, let's start talking about the game. Bring us the one in five Buffalo Bills. Last episode, we we actually defeated the Pittsburgh Steelers, and we are now three and three, and we can hopefully go over 500 for the first time this season. And we're wearing the old throwback uniforms that they did in real life. Ryan Tannehill on the field, 10 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, 1,430 yards, has around uh, I believe a 58-59 percent completion percentage. So now first down 10, the first offensive play of the game goes to Jay Ajayi, a nice run play for about nine yards on the play. And now we're gonna check out second down and one. Jay Ajayi, he is, he is stopped behind the line for a loss of about two on the play. Now it's third down three, Tannehill, he's looking, he's in the pocket, he fires to Jordan Cameron, his probably his favorite target all year for a gain of about 18, his first uh, pass attempt of the game. And now they're in midfield, first down and 10. Daniel, he hits it and finds Jordan Cameron. That's a first down. Picks up a nice gain on the play. And there is a flag on the play. And see who is on. And it's actually a roughing a passer call on the defense. And yeah, so we're going to get an additional yard, an additional 15 yards. Now we're stop, Now we're at the 20 yard line. Play action. Tannehill, he's scrambling. What can he do? He's going to use his legs this time. And he's going to slide head first. Very dangerous. For an eight yard gain on the play. So I'll second down two. Hands it off to no. It's a play action. Got myself to uh, Ryan Tannehill. And he's going to head, he's going to slide head first once again. Uh, for some reason, I don't know how I can slide feet first. I don't know why I'm struggling. So, but he picks up a nice gain. Now it'll be at the four yard line. And then Tannehill, next play, hits Devontae Parker. And the Dolphins are on the board first. His fifth receiving touchdown on the for the season for Parker. And Tannehill gets his 11th passing touchdown. Now we'll find Tyrod Taylor now, uh, 1,418 yards, six touchdowns, three interceptions. And yeah, score is seven, nothing Miami. So uh, first first run, the first play of the of uh, the Bills offensive drive, hands off to former Dolphin Reggie Bush for a game around five on the play. And we check out the offense, the offense, the starting offense uh, for the Buffalo Bills. Glenn, Incognito, Wood, Miller, Mills. And then we have uh, Watkins, Gilsley, Bush, Clay, and Woods. Those are like those. That's like four X Dolphins on that on that all starting offense. Hands off to, and they hand off to Reggie Bush once again. And he is stopped behind the line. So it's a third down and eight. Taylor, he's looking and fires and hit. Uh, <laughs> hits Charles Clay for the Miami Dolphins for a gain of about 13, and that's the first down on the play. So first down and 10. Taylor. He looks and fires it to Charles Clay for a short gain on the play. And they're gonna check out the starting defense for the Miami Dolphins. And you see the defensive line. We have Wake, Sue, Coleman, and Williams. And for the linebackers, we have Misi, Alonzo, Jenkins. And for the secondary, we have uh, Devon House, Jones, Abdul Kadus, and Maxwell. So pretty much the same starting lineup. So now second down five, play action to Tyrod Taylor. He's scrambling. He's looking and fires and hits Sammy Watkins. He is hit hard, but luck. But for, unfortunately, the Buffalo Bills did recover and they still keep the first down. Now first down ten. Hands off to Mike Gillisley and he is stopped. 
behind the line. A loss of about two. He is tackled by Issa Adul Kadus. Now third down and 12. Uh, Tyra Taylor, he looks in front of two. Marquise Goodwin, he is uh, pushed out of bounds by Chris Culliver. And they are forced to punt the ball. So first down, they has our two Jay Ajayi. Jay Ajayi picks up a gain of around three on play. Now we check out the starting offense for the Miami Dolphins. And it's going, and it's going to look like this here for the O-line. We have Albert, Bushrod, Pouncey, Tunsil, James. And now we have as well Landry, Drake, Ajayi, Cameron, and Parker. Now second down and seven. Tannehill, he, play, he uh, pump fakes and hits Devontae Parker. And he picks up a nice gain. He does stumble uh, across Jordan Cameron's foot. But he does pick up the first down. The first down. Ten has a 2 JHI. Picks up a gain of around five on the play. Now we're going to check out the uh, well, four. Now check out the starting defense for the Buffalo Bills. For the D-line, they have Washington, Darius, Williams. Now for the linebackers, they have Hugh Brown, Hughes Brown, Brown, Bynes. Now for the secondary, we have Gilmore, Williams, Graham, and Darby. Now third down and six at the 42 yard line. Tannehill, he's looking and finds and can he he finds Jar Jarvis Landry deep, burns the I believe that was Roland Roland Darby, and that was another touchdown. And the Dolphins are are we up 14 to nothing by the end of the first quarter, and you see that nice a nice celebration. That was nice nice little crane. But anyway, 14 nothing at the end of the first quarter. So far so good for the Miami Dolphins, and. Hopefully they can continue this in in the uh, for the for this whole game. So fourth down and three. It's a, this is the uh, the first play of the second quarter as a nice punt by by the uh, Bills punter and we're we're think hopefully it's gonna go for a touchback. So it landed around the five yard line, but Jakeem Grant with his with his amazing speed picks up and gets a gain around 25. So I'm, that was awesome on the play and. Jakeem's going to be a lot, it's going to be a lot of fun playing with. So, so on, the, on the first play of the drive, Jar, uh, Tannehill hits, uh, Jar, uh, not Jarvis Landry, Devontae Parker for a game around 10, but they did call him short on second down inches, but Jay Ajayi picks up the first down. So second down 10, play action, Tannehill, he's scrambling and fires and hits Kenny Stills, and now they're in Bills territory. Seven for it for 135 yards and two touchdowns. He's off to a Tannehill's off to a great start today. It's a first down and ten over the middle, but it's a terrible, th terrible uh, pass throwing the directions of Williams on the play. I believe it was overthrown Kenny Stills. So that's the first turnover of the game. So a first down and ten. Uh, he uh, Taylor finds Brown on the play, and they get into Bills, uh, not Bills, Dolphin territory. So third down and three. Taylor he scrambles and finds Watkins, and they do call him in bounds. So that's a first down at the 31 yards. So it's actually now second down and nine. Charles Clay he is found for a gain of around I believe five on the play. So third down and four at the 25 yard line. Taylor hits Reggie Bush. He never now they're in the red zone, but there is a flag on the play, and who is it going to be on? It's a personal foul, and as a roughing the passing call, we've gotten these so many times uh, for these past couple weeks. It's on Mario Williams, so they get additional yards, and now they're in the eight. Now they're at the eight-yard line. Reggie Bush, first down goal, finds the gap, touchdown Buffalo, and now they are on the board for the first time today. His first rushing touchdown of the season is on 14 to seven. Now first down and ten, play action. Taylor he finds Jordan Cameron, a nice catch, hangs onto the ball for a first down. So, a nice catch for Jordan Cameron. So now first down and 10. Daniel, he finds Jordan Cameron once again. And, this, and he's just short of the first down. Second down and one for the Miami Dolphins. So now second down and one. Hands off to Ajayi. Just picks up the first down. Game around three on the play. Seven rushes for 25 yards for Ajayi. The first down and 10. Hands off to Ajayi once more. And he fumbles the ball. Mike Conn doesn't bother picking it up. And is recovered by Buffalo. Terrible, absolutely terrible. There was a holding call in play, but it doesn't matter. Actually, it does matter because they get in this. Uh, actually, didn't matter because they did decline it. So it's a first down 10 at the 50 yard line. Finds Brown, and that's a first down. Now they're in Miami territory. Now, first down 10 at the 37. Now they're doing the two minute warning drill. 
So it's now first down and 10. Finds Brown once more. And it looks like he's going to be called just short of a first down. Second down and inches on the play. Second down and inches at the 27. Finds Brown once more over the middle. And that's a first down. Now they're in the red zone. 12 for 20, 12 for 14 for Tyrod Taylor. Third down and 10 at the 18. Taylor, he finds the pressure. He just gets just gets released to the ball, so it doesn't count as a sack. But the Buffalo Bills are forced to kick a field goal. Another former Miami Dolphin, Dan Carpenter, in for the field goal. And the kick is good. 14 to 10, Miami. So with a minute and 23 left, Dolphins look like they can possibly get some more points. First down and 10. A terrible, a terrible, terrible call. They, they tried to do a uh, halfback screen. This doesn't work. Ajayi runs into his own offensive lineman. And the Buffalo Bills get additional points. They get unanswered points. And now they're up 17 to 14. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Oh my. How did the Dolphins blow that? Although, there, you, can talk about, you can talk to me about that. Because you know, I'm obviously controlling them. So the halftime stats. We are... We are we are leading them with uh, passing yards, rushing yards, and average uh, yards in a play, but they do have three turnovers. Well, they have cost three turnovers. So first pl first offensive play, stop. Uh, Reggie Bush is stopped for no yards. Second down and ten, hits Sammy Watkins, a nice juke move passed by our Maxwell, and they're gonna call him just short of a first down. So it's gonna be gone. So now it's gonna be third down and inches. Hits off to Reggie Bush. He does pick up the first down and get some more yards. In Dolphin territory, talking about Rashad Jones on the play, and it's gonna be a first down ten. That's actually now third down four at the 35, and it's a nice deflection. I don't know who it was, but there was a flag on the play, a personal foul roughing the passer. I don't know how many times we've gotten that call. Is now Kiko Alonso, and they get a new set of downs. So first down and ten at the 20. Reggie Bush picks up the first down. And is now at the eight yard line. Now first down and goal. Gillisley, nice gain. He breaks the tackle, but for some reason he just steps out of bounds. And he is and he stop he's gonna be down at the one yard line. So Reggie Bush picks up his picks up his second rushing touchdown of the day. And the Buffalo Bills extend their lead to 24 to 14. A first down 10. Tannehill back on the field once more. Finds Jordan Cameron for a first down. You see, last week compared to this week, he is playing very well today. So first down and ten. Tannehill, he actually loses the football and is recovered by Bynes. He, uh, the defensive line gets past Brandon Albert, and he and Tannehill was sacked. He lost the football and his Buffalo Bills ball once more. Now first down and ten. Bush is stopped by four Dolphin players. Now second down and 12 at the 34. Uh, Taylor hands off to Reggie Bush once more, but he's tackled by Cole Misi in the backfield. Lost about two on the play. Has to be third down and 14. Taylor back the pass. He has plenty of time. He's scrambling. Wake for some reason doesn't, is not even close to the dive. And finds Charles Clay. He finds him wide open at the five. He's down at the five yard line. Now first down goal, Bush. He is tackled by Kiko Alonso and Von House. And he loses uh loses about five not five yards, like maybe I think maybe he gained a yard. I'm not sure. But here he loses a yard. Tackled by Jelani Jenkins on the play. And so being a third down goal. Third down goal at the eight yard line. Taylor, he is scrambling, looking for someone in the end zone. And it is intercepted by Rashad Jones. The first takeaway for the Dolphins. And Rashad Jones, I believe, no, I believe that's his second interception. No, it is actually his third interception of the season. So first down 10, Jay Ajayi uh, gets a nice game around 9. I'll play 9 rushes for 40 yards for Ajayi today. Second down and 1. Play action, Tannehill. The pressure is coming. For, and now he's going to use his legs. He picks up the first down, steps out of bounds. A nice gain of about 9 on the play. 3 rushes for 26 yards for Tannehill. First down, 10 at the 20, and Tannehill is sacked by Bynes, his first sack of the day, and has a loss of about 7, his 30th tackle of the season for Bynes. Now second down, and 17, and, and tries to find Jordan Cameron, but is intercepted by Moore, another 
pick six. And the, and the Buffalo Bills extend the lead 31-14. Tannehill back on the field once more and it is the same old story and dance. A nine-yard loss on the play. He is sacked by Washington. And is now second down and 19. Finds Devontae Parker over the middle. A nice gain on the play. And he, but he is just short of the first down. That's we call the third down and two. And that's the final play of the third quarter. 31 to 14, Buffalo. It, and they're walking away, probably with the, why with the win? It's probably too late for a comeback. So now third down and two. Channel finds Jordan Cameron, and they are going to call him short of the first down. That's a fourth down. One, the Dolphs are going to go for Channel. He is scrambling. And he's going to use his leg. He picks up the first down. Head first ones again. He clips more. And he, but who cares? He, he picks up the first down. First down, 10 at the 45 yard line. Tannehill, he's looking. He's looking. And he is sacked once more. That's Bynes again. That's a sack. Of, that's a loss of five on the play. And now third down and 15. Tannehill, he's scrambling. He's looking. And he, for some reason, throws it into triple covers. Uh, intercepted by Stephon Gilmore, first interception of the game, as another turnover. So first downtown, their first uh, offensive drive, offensive play for the drive, as a false start. So they are backed up five yards. So now first down, 15. Reggie Bush. It doesn't matter because as a as a touchdown, a touchdown for Reggie Bush. I believe that's his third rushing touchdown or his fourth of the game. 54-yard touchdown for Reggie Bush is on 38 to 14. Tannehill's getting is now going to be benched and and, and steps in the rookie Brandon Dowdy of his first offensive pl uh, play of the drive. He is sacked for an eight-yard loss. Now second down 18. Dowdy is going to scramble and he's trying to scramble, but he is slow as molasses and he loses the football. Brown picks it up as another turnover. Now first down 10. But Bush loses the football and is not recovered by Miami. So the Dolphins get the ball once once more. Uh, recovered by Isadul Kadus. Now first down and 10. Play action. Dowdy. What is he going to do here? And then he throws it once more. Another interception on the play. That is Preston Brown. So I believe in two plays. Uh, Brandon Dowdy has given the ball away. So that is not good. But see Dominican Sue. Uh, tackle. Tackles uh, Bush behind the back for a two-yard loss. Now second down and 12. Bush is tackled once again for a one-yard loss. Talking about Issa Abdul Kadus. Now third down and 13. On the play at the 18-yard line. Hands off to Reggie Bush. And that's another touchdown for Buffalo. Another rushing touchdown for Reggie Bush. His 40th career rushing touchdown. So it is now first down 10. It's 45 to 14. So this time the halfback screen works, kind of picks up a gain. Uh, Ajay picks up a gain of around eight on the play, and that's actually his first completion of the game. So now second down and two, Ajay picks up a nice gain on the play, a gain of around nine on the play. Ten rushes for 49 yards for Jay Ajay. Now first down, ten Dowdy back the pass, and he fires it to Jay Ajay, picks up the first down. He is pushed out of bounds. As a first down at the 49 yard line, Dowdy he finds JJ once more and he's gonna be stopped just short of a first down. Three for four for 30 yards, an interception for Dowdy. Second down and one. Ajay he is gets the first down very, very close, but in my opinion, I'm not sure. But Kane Drink gets his first run of the game and loses six yards, uh, not six yards, four yards. So a third down and six. Dowdy is scrambling, it looks, and he fires it to Devontae Parker. Picks up a nice gain, and he's tackled at the 15-yard line. But there is an injury on the play, and we're going to check out who it is. And that is Brandon Dowdy, the rookie quarterback. I don't know what he's holding. I guess his shoulder or his back. But in comes in, comes in Ryan Tannehill. So first down, ten, yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to put in Matt Moore. Sorry, Matt. So first down and 10, uh, Tannehill back in the game. Uh, picks up a gainer, uh, passes it for a gain of six. Abdominal tear for Brandon Dowdy. He will not be able to return to the game. So third down and four. Parker finds. Uh, Parker does catch the ball and is and he is in for a touchdown. 
And so the Miami Dolphins get some get some more points. I believe that's their first touchdown since the first quarter. So wow. So now uh, Dolphins get the ball back. Jakeem Grant gets some nice yards on the play. And although there's only 14 seconds left. But we have some good field position. He's tackled at the 45 yard line. 26 yard return for Jakeem Grant. So now second down and 10. Uh, five seconds left. Finds Jay Ajayi. Or no, that's a first down. But there's not enough time left to call for a timeout. And that is the game. 45 to 21 in favor for the 1 and 5 Buffalo Bills. They improved at 2 and 5 as the Dolphins go down to 3 and 4. So their two game winning streak comes to that comes to an end in the hands of their division rivals Buffalo Bills. And you see the scoreline absolutely terrible for the third for the second, third and you can say yeah, the fourth quarter. They played absolutely terrible. Uh, after that first quarter. You see the post game stats. They run the ball a hell of a lot better. Eight takeaways. Unbelievable. So Tannehill played well at the start. And then he, I don't know what the hell happened. Dowdy kind of struggled. Uh, the running game was eh. I guess you could say it was alright. Tan uh, Tannehill did contribute. Ajay played alright. Reggie Bush exposed his, his um, former team. But if I had to give a player... Of the game, it was kind of tough between Devontae Parker and Jordan Cameron. I I'm gonna give it to Jordan Cameron. I guess no, I'm, I'm gonna give it Devontae Parker. I'm gonna give it to Devontae Parker. I changed my mind. I'm gonna give it to Devontae Parker. He had two receiving touchdowns. Um, he played well. He played well for how crappy the Dolphins played today. So that's going to be it for today's, for today's episode. Next episode is going to be a bye week. So we're going to do a catch up, uh, look at, you know, the stats, you know, just go over what's going on in our, our uh, franchise mode, our league, do some scouting and all that. And also follow me on Twitter at Mr. Game of Fame. Link in the description down below. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe more content on this channel. And I'll see you guys next time.